protozoal infections of the digestive tract in poultry, coccidiosis, hexamiciasis, histomoniasis, trichomoniasis, other protozoal infections, cryptosporidiosis, uh, sarcosporidiosis. Coccidiosis, coccidiosis, definition, avian coccidiosis is a common protozoal disease of poultry and many other birds characterized by diarrhea and enteritis. Coccidiosis in poultry affects the intestinal tract except for the renal, renal coccidiosis in geese, renal coccidiosis in the kidney and in the geese. As a worldwide distribution, the do development of Intensive confinement production system has increased the economic significance of this disease. Subclinical disease has been recognized as having important impact on performance in commercial meat work, production, and the negative impact on flow, uniformity of layer, and the breeder work. The development of this antibacterial drug and vaccine has made prevention of clinical disease and the negative effects. On performance more manageable, uncontrolled, uncontrollable coccidiosis may cause a loss of production and even mortality. Coccidiosis can be one of the predisposing factors for necrotic enteritis caused by cholesteridia perforations. In game birds production, coccidia control is important in preventing outbreak of ulcerative enteritis in quail disease. Uh, or what's called quill disease, ulcerative enteritis, caused by Clostridium colinum, a normal inhabitant inside the intestine. Etiology Coccidiosis in chicken and turkey is caused by protozoal species of Imeria. There, is, there are nine described species of Imeria in chicken and seven in turkey, but not all are severe pathogens. Coccidia are host specific and don't pass among the various classes of poultry, with the exception of Aemilia dispersa that affects turkey, quail, and the other gallinaceous birds. Coccidia have a direct but complex life cycle. Infection is by the fecal oral route, ingestion of the infected feed or water, litter, and soil result in infection. Here the life cycle of the coccidia, the osporulated infected coccidia oocyst is ingested here, are released in uh, initiation of a series of asexual reproduction followed by a sexual cycle here, the asexual cycle and here is the sexual cycle. That leads to development of the thousands of new oocysts uh, in the intestinal or cecal uh, and the unspoiled oocysts are shed in the feces. Here, the oocyst here is sporulated inside the intestine, get inside the intestine, schizont. After that, rupture of this schizont. Here the schizogony and gametogony inside the cell and the macrogamete and microgamete combine together and make the zygote and zygote become the oocyst, mature oocyst and uh, become again the uh, sporocyst uh, which infect other cells here the outside outside the host here inside the host the intestine when the bird eat the sporulated oocyst and get inside his uh, intestine and he, the cell of the intestine here the, the cell of the intestine here we find the clinical signs of the oxidia, blood free blood in some uh, severe cases. Here, the oocyst is broken 
and Lisa all sister under the microscope. These all sisters were related within 24 hours and then are infectious for other chicken or turkey. A single all sister may give rise to more than 100,000 progeny. Coccidia produce lesion in the gut by destruction of the epithelial cell in which they develop and multiply and by trauma to the intestinal mucosa and submucosa. Intestinal damage is directly proportional to the number of sporulated oocysts and the species ingested by the susceptible host. Speciation of the coccidia by microscopic feature of oocyst, its size, shape, color, length, and width. Region of the gut uh, parasitized, the nature of the lesion produced, pre patent period, sporulation time, all these uh, help us in speciation, speciation of the coccidia. Recently, molecular tools have developed and demonstrated to be effective in the identification of severe, several Imeria species. Precise identification is of some value in selecting the most effective anti coccidial for control. With controlled exposure via the use of live coccidia vaccine, the birds develop longer term immunity often without clinical signs of the infection. Current vaccines are given either at pre hatch or post hatch in the ovo in 18 or 19 days. Uh, post hatch in immunity depends upon self exposure to selected imeria for the simulation and development of the immunity. Poultry maintain their immunity to species of coccidia by repeated re exposure. Very important repeated exposure, the immunity appears. The, the host remains susceptible to coccidial species, not yet in contoured immunity. Birds may be infected simultaneously with more than one species. People are important vector for coccidia with litter, warm temperature facilitates formulation and precipitate outbreak of coccidia. Here we find the, the, the Imeria species. Coccidia of a chicken, nine species. Imeria have uh, been described in chicken. Imeria cervulina, Nicatrix, Maxima, Grunotai, Tinella, Metis, Mivati, Baracox, Hagani. Clinical disease is determined by the species of the infecting coccidia. This pathogenic species produce few or no lesions. Acervilina, its place. Maxima, its place. And this is the boy, and it's its place. And the necatrix, its place. And this is the villa, and this is the pussy guy. Here, we uh, symptoms different from e each other. Pathogenicity. Here the, uh, the most important pathogenic, the pronotai and the uh, acerbulina and the tenilla. They produce blood. Mechatrix also produce blood. Very severe and very fatal. Mechatrix, tenilla, acerbulina. The more pathogenic species often cause diarrhea, which may be mucoid or bloody. Dehydration often accompanies the diarrhea. Diarrhea and dehydration are soon followed by the rapid feathers, anemia, illustrious weakness, retra retraction of the head and neck, and uh, somnolence. Growth rate is often adversely affected. In laying hens, coccidiosis is, is usually manifested by drop in egg production. A depigmentation of the skin may be apparent in well-established cases. Morbidity and mortality within a flock may vary greatly, but both can be very high. Imeria cervelina, this is its place, is a moderately severe pathogen causing enteritis in the interior of the third of the intestine. The first part, the enteritis can be mild to severe and cause thickening of the mucosa. May, may, many if affect skin pigment may affect the skin pigmentation due to malabsorption of carotenoid and reduce food conversion. Transverse white to gray striations are uh, visible in the mucosa. Transverse white to gray striations here. Ocex is a mucosal scraping. In mucosal scraping, moderate size. 
if we make a smear and look at under the microscope, the size of the egg varies from 18 to 14 micron. This type of coccidiosis occurs rather frequently in older birds. His location is also favored by other least pathogenic species. His location also favored by other uh, least pathogenic species. Frequently, multiple species will be present, obscuring the ignorance. This species is one of the most prevalent in commercial poultry operations. I'm Eliane Catrix. Causes severe enteritis characterized by congestion, hemorrhage, necrosis, and the blood in the middle small intestine. And this is the blade. And this is the appearance of the lesion. Also, this is the appearance of the really blood inside the intestine. We just open it. Small intestine with uh, medium small intestine with blood pieces. The intestine often is marked dilated, inflamed, thickened, white to yellow foci, and the petechial hemorrhage may be seen through the serosa of an open gut. These lesions are the development of the large schism, uh, predominantly in the middle mid small intestine. Causes high mortality, often cause disease in the commercial broiler, breeder, or layer. I'm Maria Maxima. Maxima is moderately pathogenic and may cause moderately high mortality. I'm Maria Maxima is moderately pathogenic and may cause moderately high mortality. It causes mild to severe enteritis, sometimes with thickening of the intestinal wall and marked dilatation of the middle small intestine. Final content may be bloody, very larger oasis from 30 to 20 micron, often with a golden color. Large uh, gamons are diagnostic for this species. Here we find the lesion, and this is the place in the intestine. I marry a blue pie, causes enteritis in the lower small intestine, rectum, proximal cecum. In severe cases, Fibrinous or fibrinotic mass of debris may cover the affected mucosa or produce casein score in the ileum and the rectum. These oocysts are fairly large, 24 to 18 micron each, with polar granule. Imeria pulpi is moderately severe pathogen that can produce moderate mortality, loss of weight gain, or feed conversion. Imeria tinella is highly pathogenic, cause a marked teflitis. Inflammation of the CKI with occasional involvement of the adjacent area of the intestine. Large cluster of the schizont may be seen in microscopic scrubbing of the CK. Amerinatilia can cause high morbidity, mortality, reduced weight gain in commercial broiler or layer bullet. This species is commonly found in commercial poultry. Amerinatis, there are no clinical lesions with this species, lower small intestine with which may be a pure, pale, and flaccid, pathogenic effect on the weight gain and cessation in egg production of single comb white leghorn has been demonstrated. I may really cause reduced weight gain mortality. This species is moderately pathogenic, causing bloody mucosal enteritis in severe cases. Lesion may be accidentally throughout the entire small intestine. White spot may be seen scattered throughout the cerosa are visible in the mucosa. Oocysts in mucosal scraping are relatively small, broadly avoid in shape 15, uh, uh, 13. This location is also favored by other species such as Imeria cervulina, thereby obscuring the diagnosis. Imeria paracox causes water, watery intestinal content with mucus and mucoid cast in the duodenum. There may be reduced weight gain, loss of pigmentation, dehydration, and poor feed conversion. I may again the reprotid caused watery intestinal content and the gastaral inflammation. This species is relatively rare in commercial broiler chicken. Control, hygiene, sanitary measure, like the removal of dirty litter, wet and caking spots, the cleaning and disinfection of equipment and the building at the end of each uh, grow out period will greatly contribute to the reduction in the contamination of the environment. Antibacterial compounding feeds are the most common method 
control. However, coccidia may be become resistant to the anticoccidian. Therefore, rotation of type of product may be used to prolong efficacy. No anticoccidial is highly effective against all species of coccidia, although so some are effective against multiple species. Several anticoccidial are approved for prevention of coccidiosis, although not all the commercial available, such as amperolium, menensin, uh, clobidol, nicarbazine, robinazine, decoent, lasalucid, halogofitinone, narcin, uh, diclazoril, simodramycin. Not all products might be able to be used for all poultry species. Turkey are extremely sensitive to salinomycin and narcine. Care should be taken in choosing the product to be used. Traditionally, antioxidant has been divided into two categories based on their effect on the parasite. Coxidiostatic development of the parasite is stopped without the destruction of the parasites. Coxidiocidal destruction of the parasite as a few products presented both types of the, the activity. Another classification was defined based on the mode of action, mode of production of the molecule. Therefore, antioxidial are also referred as chemical or synthetic product and ionophore fermentation product. A number of products are available worldwide and each product will present some well established trends and weaknesses. Antioxidant may be used as a single product through the life of the verb trait program or as a combination of products given one after the other during the life of the verb shuttle programs for trait programs. Ionophores are used in majority of cases as the best compromise between the control of the disease and the gross performance of the verb. The shuttle program, a wide variety of combinations, have appeared over the years with the use of two to four different products. Most popular program is the combination of alchemical, a chemical product during the first two to three weeks, followed by an ionophore product from two to three weeks, but the reverse option is also frequently used. The combination of two products given at the same time is also used as a means to improve antioxidant control. Trade program will be used for a period of the year and shuttle program for the rest of the year. All these systems highlight the complexity of the prevention of procedures, the monitoring of the performance. This program is critical to their longer term effectiveness as parasites will develop resistance to antioxidant often observed for the chemical product or increased tolerance to antioxidant. Here, a list of the uh, antioxidant, the molecule, mechanism of action, and the dosage, advantage and disadvantage, the amperolian, clobidol, and the decoin, dicalazoril, alolofigonon, and this is the mechanism of action, thiamine antagonist, electron transfer inhibitor, nucleotide analog, and here uh, the advantage and disadvantage. Vaccine, the first antioxidant vaccine appeared in the 50s, and their usage was mostly limited to broiler breeder layer raised on the floor and turkeys. Currently, the use of vaccine has increased tremendously, expanding to a broader use in broiler vaccine. Are usually made of live strain of CD, uh, several several Aemilia species, Aemilia sempervirina, Aemilia maxima, ma maxima, uh, Aemilia tenella are most commonly used. Commercial coccidiosis vaccine are available. Bland exposure of the young chicks or pollen to small number of oocysts by coarse spray at the hatchery or in feed or water or gel blocks uh, in the, the uh, box of the baby chick uh, one day old or in ovo at 18 to 19 days incubation have been used successfully 
The number of positive of each immediate species provided in the vaccine is critical to initiating immunity. Without causing clinical disease, some vaccines contain drug sensitive strain of immunia, facilitating the establishment of drug sensitive population and extending the usefulness of the antioxidia. Some vaccines may contain attenuated or precious line of immunity. Most vaccines are given during the first week of age, either by spraying at the hatchery, by water administration, by spraying on the feed, or by incorporation into gelatinous material placed at the hatchery in the boxes deliver, delivering the chicks. Natural exposure in chicken are exposed to modest number of oocysts in their environment, they develop immunity to the species of oxygen represent. Exposure must be moderate and the clinical signs will appear. Exposure can be limited if dry litter conditions are maintained. Wet litter, including wet areas around the water, is especially to be avoided. This practice is rarely used in large commercial operations. Treatment prevention is emphasized, however, chemical agents widely used for treatment include amberulia, sulfa dimethoxine, sulfa tinoxaline, sulfa mesamine. Sulfa should not be used in layers. It causes uh, drop in meat production. Required withdrawal times are usually required due to marketing, increased vitamin A, uh, A and K in feed or water may reduce mortality and hasten recovery, respectively. A specific management of the flock and its environment will require to achieve a low background cycling of the parasite in the bird, allowing for the, the development of immunity. Coccidia of Turkey, Turkey. Seven species of Imeria have been described in Turkey in USA. The four pathogenic species of Imeria in Turkey, Imeria adenoides, Imeria milia grimitis, uh, Imeria gallobovinus, uh, I media dispersa, non pathogenic, I media inopia, I media degradis, I media subrotondera. Coxidus in Turkey resembles the disease in chicken, the area may be watery, mucoid, and bloody, and mortality may occur. I media media grimitis, I media media grimitis causes spotty congestion and diabetic yield from duodenum to ileum. Dilatation of jejunal and mucosal coast coast. Imeria dispersa. Imeria dispersa produces a creamy colored cellular surface. Dilatation of the intestine, yellowish mucoid, ceases in the middle of one third of the intestine. Imeria gallobovinus causes edema, alteration of mucosal area, yellow oxidate, and flow of the blood. Flex of the blood increases. Lesions are principally located in the posterior one third of the intestine, ileum, and the larger intestine and cecum. Imeria adenoides affects the posterior one third of the intestine, is responsible for liquid feces with mucus flow in the blood. This is the lesion 